Today's video, I'm going to be showing you an Arena 6 ladder deck. A great one that will help you push from Arena 6 through uh, to Arena 7 and get you through uh, the Builder's Workshop. This one's, uh, I could, you could have used this ideally if you've been following my videos. You could have used this also for the Arena 5 ladder deck. Problem is, I didn't want to put it in there because it takes some time to get your monies, uh, enough gold basically to upgrade the cards since they are new cards uh, for Arena 5 to then build them up so they're a suitable level for actually playing with. So I wanted to use them for Arena 6 because this is a great deck. Now if you really focus and uh, uh, or you spend a lot of money and able to upgrade them quickly, you can use it for Arena 5 as well. But anyways, let's jump into this. So to start off, I'm only again going to show you one replay just for time's sake. I'm going to be showing you, uh, who, I think it's this replay actually, because uh, this was a pretty good match. There, I had no problem with really any deck. Uh, they all worked well. Again, probably the hardest thing to stop for this deck, like the Arena 5 deck, was the Goblin Barrel. You can use, to do that, you can use the uh, Archers and the Goblins themselves. They work pretty well, and they stop it quick enough, and as long as you kind of keep the push going, it, you'll get more damage done at their towers than against yours. So the whole point of this deck is basically to defend using the P.E.K.K.A., uh, the Archers, your Velk, your Goblins, and your Bats. Your furnace is used at kind of as a defense to drag over the giant or the uh, hog or any other defense seeking troops to the middle where it allows then your P.E.K.K.A. and your other defensive cards to chip away and take them out. But also acts as a two tier where your furnace is a like a second prong where it actually chips away and uses offense with the fire spirits to actually take away some of the tower. Then you're going to be launching the hog in in addition. And also after your P.E.K.K.A. is used on defense if for some reason a giant comes towards the furnace, you can then drop the bats in behind which is a cheap elixir but does mad damage and the poison at this point can either be used as a defense if you want to stop like a kind of like minions minion horde kind of thing uh, i'm not sure if minion hordes actually even in this arena but anything kind of aerial or mass troops but you can also use it as an offense and that's what i predominantly did was use it when the hog was in there and then they try and swarm you with a few troops or if the peck is out there you can use it and take out a witch like a night witch uh some major troops especially if there's a few of them around that tower you can get some uh like big bang for the buck with the poison as well and since that was a new uh, card i believe for uh, uh arena 5 as well again i'm using an arena 6 so it gives you enough time to then be able to upgrade it given especially that's an epic so let's get into this show you the replay and we'll go from there so to start off uh let's bring it in bring it home and then uh you'll get to see how i use this deck and then how you can ideally use the deck as well so starting off I've got the Goblins, the, uh, the Hog, P.E.K.K.A. and the Poison in the lineup right from the beginning. Ideally, Furnace is the best one because then you can then use that to kind of defend against. Now, whenever you see a Hog, you have two options with this deck. Either use the P.E.K.K.A. like I did or the Furnace. P.E.K.K.A. is a great one. Stops anything. They get one hit and that's it. And then you can kind of do a counter push. And this is where I use the Hog on the opposite side because now they're a little bit preoccupied with the P.E.K.K.A. The P.E.K.K.A. should be able to get that Musketeer there and before dying. And even then, on the hog side, I still get at least one hit in as well. And what you see is he's got a furnace on his side as well. And ideally, I would drop a poison there to take out the furnace and the tower, uh, do apply damage to the tower at the same time. Running a little low on elixir, so I want to drop the archers in behind just to kind of back up the Valk and hopefully get enough damage done to the furnace. Wasn't able to. That's the nice thing with the bats. They're cheap elixir. You can take out any ground troops very quickly. And you don't have to worry too much if you make a mistake with them because it really isn't that much of a cost. Again, he's going to use the uh, hog at this point. I'm going to use the furnace to uh, block at that point instead of the P.E.K.K.A. since I didn't have enough elixir. Unfortunately, the fire spirits do a little bit more damage than what I wanted. Uh, I was hoping they would maybe take out the goblins as the goblins would maybe pull a little bit further than the furnace. But it uh, didn't work out that way. So now we're going to see I'm going to be on the defensive a little bit trying to protect against the musketeer. At this point, I was thinking of using back a uh, P.E.K.K.A., but instead of going in, uh, I, yeah, anyways, sorry, went for the P.E.K.K.A. in this case. He's going to use the bats in behind. I'm going to drop the archers that, in this case to save them a little bit and uh, stop them from doing major damage. He's going to have to then drop the Valk again, get a little bit damage done on the Valk. Archers will do a little bit more. 
not too much of a worry here. This is where you can use the Velk as advantageous against any other cards, as you can drop it in kind of like a swarm, take a few cards damage at the same time. In this case, I used it to stop the wizard at that point and do damage to the hog, and then allow me to then drop the furnace to kind of pull a little bit away. Uh, with still some health which will drop a little bit of fire spirits. Now I use the Velk kind of as a tank for the hog. That's another move you can use with this. In this case I also dropped the uh, poison. I was waiting for the right time. As you can see here I was able to take out a decent amount of damage on the tower and take out the musketeer at the same time. Now ideally again you want to use this on the furnace but I unfortunately didn't have that option. Uh, just because of the way the, the card started off and how the match went. Now from here, again, he's going to drop the Hog. I'm going to then answer with the P.E.K.K.A. This is uh, always a great option when apply or facing the Hog is drop that P.E.K.K.A. You can apply a lot of damage here. I'm going to drop the Bats just to take out uh, the Wizard here. I saw that the Musketeer was coming in. I was able to then take out the Furnace, the Musketeer, and the Tower all with one Poison. And that's really where this uh, deck comes in strong is with that kind of like Poison if you time it right and you're able to get like maybe one card or two cards and a tower at the same time. Here I just got to defend, he's going to take a bit of my furnace, that's okay. I'm going to drop the P.E.K.K.A there. The archers are backing up the P.E.K.K.A as a result. I'm going to try and take out the wizard as quick as possible so I can save as much health on the P.E.K.K.A. Again, drop the uh, poison. I was hoping the musketeer would get in there, unfortunately it was just outside the radius of the poison, but that's okay. Got a bit more damage to the tower and the furnace at this point I was able to stop. I have two furnaces, so now I'm applying a little bit more pressure on the uh, offense of that, this. So you're going to see the Valk, this is just going to kind of keep uh, the Musketeer at bay. I'm not going to worry too much about the Hog in this case, I'm just going to drop some Goblins. I'm alright with taking a more damage on that because now I can drop a Poison on the opposite side against the Wizard, the Furnace, and the Tower. And like I said, this Poison ability is pretty... Uh, well, it really can't be stopped at all, and it is, uh, if you can t get a good timing and be able to get uh, a couple cards plus the tower, it's really effective, and you maximize your elixir count at that point. And this is where you just kind of drop the hog in. He has the mini P.E.K.K.A., that's all right. I'm going to almost guarantee every time I get one hit with just the mini P.E.K.K.A., he's going to be a secondary card in order to block it. And at this point, I just let the uh, poison finish off the tower. And that's kind of how you use this deck. It works really well against uh, numerous types with the giant, uh, anything else that kind of like attacks building, seeks. The P.E.K.K.A. is great for defense, especially if you just kind of like drop it in front of the uh, furnace, because then the furnace will then, on the same side, uh, back it up against any swarm troops as well. And that's what you really want. Hopefully this deck helped. Uh, I'm, uh, I've tested it, used it, worked very well, and you can actually use this probably for quite a few arenas up if you really want to, so it'll be worth upgrading the cards at that point. And uh, that's really it. I'm going to uh, try and end this now. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like. Leave comments down below if you want to see other decks, uh, if you want to see anything particular, or if you want to see uh, future arena ones, I'll try and get them up as well. And uh, go check out the other places there's any other videos you want to see that might be helpful. Thanks again for everyone for watching. This is going to be Leonidas signing off.